Hey guys, it's uh, January 2nd, 2023. We're on our way to go see about two 10 ton package units on a family dollar. So basically, I work, I don't work for Family Dollar. I work for the building owner. He rents the building to Family Dollar. He also has a Dollar General that I take care of. Again, I don't work for Dollar General. I work for the building owner. The Dollar General has 20 tons of air. It's got four or five ton split systems. And this Family Dollar has 20 tons of air. It's got two 10-ton package units. Now, although he owns the building, Dollar General and Family Dollar are responsible for the maintenance upkeep on these units. Now, they are not responsible for replacement of the units. The building owner is. So if the units are need to be replaced or like a major repair needs to be done, he is responsible. But... If they don't upkeep the maintenance, that's part of their contract, then he'll go ahead and get the repair or the replacement done, <coughs> but he gets the money back from them for not upkeeping the maintenance. Well, he's had a suspicion that Family Dollar hasn't been getting these units maintenanced. And he drove over there the other day. I say the other day. It's been a little while. We've been needing to get here for about a month. And I just haven't been able to. And he said that there was a lot of trash around the units. And it looked like the coils had bags on them and all kind of stuff. So he wants me to go over there and take pictures. And go ahead and do a full-blown maintenance on both package units that he's going to pay me for and then he's going to turn the pictures in and the bill in to family dollar and probably get reimbursed because it's part of the contract that they have to upkeep the maintenance and he said that these units just look filthy to him so we're going to go over there and we're going to see how bad they are and report back to him but he's already given me approval to go ahead and clean them up and make sure they're in good working condition so let's go see what we can find all right we got a 10 ton york and a 12 and a half ton york we got one making noise Something is hitting right there. We're going to figure out what that is. The coils are really nasty in here. They haven't been washed in a while. Oh, that drain's disconnected too. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pull a vacuum on those drains. Got a bag. Ooh. The bearings are gone in that motor. Oh, the fan blade is broken. See the fan? Look at that. Fan blade's broken. That's going to have to be replaced. That's what's making the noise. 
Mazel, oh, and the damn, there's a bag wrapped around the motor shaft. Look at that, though. Look at that, the bearings are gone in that motor. So this one needs a motor and a blade. It needs to be cleaned. There's a bag wrapped around this one. like it anyway. Look at this. Okay, the bearings feel good on this one. This blade's been replaced. But the bearings do feel good on this one. Micro channel condenser coil. We cannot use cleaner on it, but they do need it, it needs to be cleaned. Okay, I got that off. Somebody's replaced a filter dryer on this on one circuit. Probably a compressor change out on it, I would imagine. This fan motor feels fine. Bearings look good. This one is not fine. We have a broken fan blade and we have bad bearings on the condenser fan motor. It is a, I cannot see the label to get the horsepower or anything, but they, they should both be the same. I will get the OEM motor for this. It's plug and play. Yep, plug and play. I should uh, probably disconnect this one and not let it run. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one and see if it'll, it should run with one. It's mild because we got a broken fan blade and we got bad bearings and it really doesn't need a run like that. And I'm going to have to quote some, I got to quote some stuff out. All right, let me turn it back on. The drains need to be flushed. Coils need to be cleaned. All these look original. The only two are running out of the four. This is a this is a 12 and a half ton right here. I heard the blower motor come on. Compressors. Looks like this one's been replaced. What it looks like to me. Uh, 
There's gonna be, huh? That's good. Uh, we're waiting on the compressor circuits to kick on. Thousand twelve machines. I'm very familiar with these products. I used to take care of several York package units like this, and we were a York dealer for many, many years. So I'm very familiar with the with these package units. These two here are pulling really good heat. Uh, only two condenser fan motors are running because it, because of the load. We're waiting on the time delay for this one to come back on. I'm gonna call the customer because I can hear my phone going off. He's texting me. I've texted him some pictures. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, st stop it at this point because the supply houses are closed today, and I I was wrong about that family dollar so the dollar general that i take care of with the split systems they're responsible for maintenance my customers responsible for repairs and replacements the family dollar is responsible for everything maintenance repairs and i think replacement of equipment he may be responsible for replacement of equipment i'm not sure but I do know he told me that they are responsible for even the repair work, but these units haven't been touched in at least a couple years, maybe more. I mean, they're filthy, y'all saw. The coils are filthy, there's bags in the economizers. I mean, they're, it's, they're filthy. Um, but all in all, he, like he said, he owns the building. So when it comes down to it, technically he is responsible because it's his building and if family dollar moves out then it all falls on him anyway so he told me to go ahead and put him a quote together for the motor and the blade and he's he i gave him a ballpark and he said 99 percent sure he's going to tell me yep go ahead and change the blade and the motor clean them up actually he's already given me approval to clean them up Approval is done as far as cleaning them. And we're not gonna use any chemicals as, as bad as we could use some chemicals on some of it. It's microchannel. Now, some of you guys out there might say, oh, but they make microchannel safe cleaner. It ain't microchannel safe. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care if that cleaner says it's microchannel safe. It's not. You put chemicals on a microchannel coil, it's going to start leaking. I don't care if it says microchannel safe, it will make that coil start leaking if you put it on that coil. So I, I refuse. I don't care if it's triple D. I don't care if it says microchannel safe. I, as much as I love John Pastorello, he's a good friend of mine, the owner of Refrigeration Technologies. Some of his products say microchannel safe. I don't use his products on microchannel either because they're not microchannel safe. Microchannels cannot have chemicals. They will leak. So I do not use it. I'm going to use straight water and get them as clean as I can with straight water. So if, once I get approval on that tomorrow, we'll schedule it. I'm starting a new construction house. Um, at the end of this week so it probably won't be till next week until i get to this i don't know maybe tomorrow i'll get to it we'll see but um whenever i do get to it i will film it and uh i usually don't do new construction but the customer is paying me for the job not the contractor and i was referred to him by a friend and it's a it's a big house three systems uh 10 tons of air on this house two four tons and a two ton and we're starting on it thursday on the rough end so that's gonna have me tied down for i'm gonna rough in a system a day so thursday friday and saturday um i'll be out of pocket roughing in that house and this is a good time of the year for me to do something like that so uh Thank y'all for watching. When we get approval, 
and we get this rescheduled and we go back we'll we'll take you guys along on it thanks for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one